Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So since I have shared the Wing Chun version too, <clears throat> many of our Wing Chun friends have uh, messages me and chat with me. And what I found is that <clears throat> Most of the Wing Chun friends who chat with me do not understand what I am presenting. They are within their mindsets. So whatever I present and I share, they don't understand. For example, some of our friend is telling me about the Wing Chun structure, internal power, mind power. And some of our friend is telling me that uh, like Cham Q have the talk, have the, uh, the, 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 the turning power similar to what I present in the Wing Chun version 2. Now, this is an issue. Now, the issue is not about uh, who is a better fighter, who can beat who, who is more advanced. It is not. It is about mechanics. It's like uh, you compare the uh, Apple phone to the Google phone. There are differences in the, uh, in the applications, in the mechanics. That is what I am bringing out in this channel. And for the Wing Chun version too, it is simply saying that today's Wing Chun, which is beginning, started and designed started in the 1870s, do not have the mechanics to face today's uh, needs in martial world. And yet the uh, Wing Chun version 2, which is based on the 1850s anti-Qing Wing Chun, have that base mechanics to face today's world. So we need to get it straight first, you know, instead of saying that, oh yeah, you know, uh, if a judoka fighting me, if I'm allowed to punch, I can punch him or I can kick him. The judo don't know how to kick. It's not that. It's about, do you know the mechanics of the judo's body conditioning. Do you know your own mechanics of your own Wing Chun body conditioning? So today I'd like to share with you to, 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 to uh, clarify this once for all, this technical mechanic stuff. This is serious stuff. It's like uh, when you want to make a wall, uh, we want to make an assessment on what is going on. Or else we are walking into something which is we have no idea and we cannot assume that uh, everything is the same. Now, there's a problem in Chinese Kung Fu and in, in Wing Chun in past 100 something years until today. The problem is that uh, the Kung Fu and the like Tai Chi, okay, and Wing Chun, it no longer is a court to Chinese culture. So, so in the past 100 years, you always have the stories about, you have this grandmaster who practiced this, the same with you, <clears throat> and they can become, uh, they are the best fighter, the king of fighting, and then uh, as soon as you train uh, whatever the same thing as what they train, then 
you will be as good as them and you can uh, face the world, you can beat everybody. You look at that in Tai Chi, they are selling the same stories. In Wing Chun, they are selling the same stories. That is not the Chinese. The ancient Chinese is like General Chi Chi Guang who facing the Japanese warrior. He looked into even the methodological of how the Japanese warrior's sword is made from. And they found out that, hey, the Chinese sword, if you, if you put two Chinese sword together and you're against the Japanese samurai sword, two sword will get chopped off by the Japanese samurai sword. That's how far. 460 years ago, they go. That, that is real Chinese. That the Yi Jing Chinese is that. But all this, oh, uh, there are some monks called Ji Sim. They design this thing. And then uh, oh, Mui designed this thing. This set called Xiu Nim Tao. And then you practice it. You have all this power and so forth, so forth. And people believe on that. And after 100 years, people don't know what is the mechanics. And you, you never actually see anybody really get anything out from it. But people don't see that. People only see that this is the legend. The legend is telling me this, this and that. And in fact, they don't even know the mechanics. So this thing is very toxic for Wing Chun to, to, to move forward to tomorrow. This must not happen anymore. It has to be stopped. And uh, so the reason I'm presenting this again is not because of I'm, I know it all or this and that. No. In the world, there are plenty of smart people, good in the martial art people. I'm learning from a lot of friends, a lot of teachers, or else I will not know what I'm knowing today. So it's not to do about I, I know it all, my lineage, it got nothing to do with that. When we talk mechanics, we talk mechanics. So why is mechanics important? Well, if, you, if your mechanics, your body condition mechanics is not as comprehensive, power all the, the areas of your opponent. Say you train 10 people for one year with your, say, Wing Chun, and then you train 10 students for the same one year with other system, which is uh, more comprehensive. You, you let this student to have a match. You know, if your mechanic is not as good and comprehensive, you will never win. So get nothing to do with I can beat you, you know, the rules. No, you look at the mechanics. First, the mechanics. Only if you have a mechanic which is par with your opponent, then you can talk about how to, 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 to defeat the opponent. Okay. The mechanic is the foundations. And the mechanics really show you which is a more superior art. We like it or not, that's reality. Since 470 years ago, Chi Chi Guang time. That's why I wrote the book. This is a reality of Chinese. This is real Chinese. Not those Taiji, uh, Daois. It is a made up by the Chinese for past 100 years. Okay. Now let's get into technical. So hopefully after this video, you see clearly it's time for Wing Chun to move forward to change. And that's why I propose the version two. Okay. It's not that I want to be the grandmaster. It is that you don't change, you get wiped out. Now let's start with the beginning of our Wing Chun. Let's start with that because this is very important. 
So, in 1870s, when the approaching red boat, opera player or actor, create today's Wing Chun base, which is uh, the four sets, the four sets, the some uh, Siu Lim Tao Chang Kyu Biu Ji and the wooden dummy sets. They took some of the uh, 1850s uh, Wing Chun's uh, material, like a fist issue from heart. They mix it with like the Shaolin Wang Chun's uh, close body art. And uh, they create something which is uh, for like a intensive training type of stuff. Not anything, something advanced, uh, intensive uh, training type of stuff. And that, that is what it is. Okay. And so uh, that is the creations. And uh, we know today, first, it already divert away from the real anti-Qing martial arts. So the anti-Qing martial art is a momentum play. It has a long fish, short strike ground fighting, like uh, the Bong, Bong Sao. Say 470 years ago, the Bong Sao, or your Guan Sao. It is written really clearly, and this is how the combination is used. Okay, that's how it is. But uh, when the 1870 Wing Chun was designed, it actually diverted away from this already. Okay, it has its own uh, theme, like a hand, a linear, and then. Uh, 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 on the on the uh, focus on the on the sticking your hand those kind of stuff. So it's divert from this, and of course it it divers it divert away from the Shaolin sword strike, which is uh, sticking to the body, and it actually using something like a. Even though using the term, the uh, plum flower footwork, which is uh, from Shaolin, or the triangle shape, but it's no longer what it is. It's no longer uh, what, what the plum flower is. And also, over here, you say that one must not have a hatred in the Shaolin writing. But today, if you look at in the movie, in everybody's talking about in Wing Chun, you have to hate. Hatred is the core, the soul of Wing Chun. So you know that it is divert away already. Okay. Now, as for the plum flower footwork, this is the plum flower. It is how you enter to the fighting range and uh, how you attack with your leg and so forth, the direction, everything. It is not today's plum flower where you walk around in the pattern of plum flower. Okay. We can come back to this later because uh, you can see what this is applicable in today's world. And of course, uh, at that time, Wing Chun is a four arm arts, the leg, Attack, the body attack, and you have two arms. And uh, the 1870s Wing Chun, which is today's Wing Chun, which is the, 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 the root of today's Wing Chun, have already diverted away from all this. And uh, due to that, you got a Siu Lim Tao set designed this way. If you look at this Siu Lim Tao set, you know right away this set because it is very rigid from the elbow uh, from the shoulder down to the knee. This is basically one piece, like a one piece of wood or one piece of rack. It will never be able to do this kind of stuff. Okay. 
it will never be able to do this kind of stuff or this type of stuff. Because it is a one piece like a wood, like a rack, where the hip is whole rigidly, the inner, the inner and ex uh, the inner and external tie is not dynamic. This is holding the the uh, the, the the external tie because it's clamping in. So this knee, you see that it is uh, rigidly whole, and uh, this hip area, which is uh, connecting the, the, the top of the body and the bottom body, this entire thing is holding as a piece of wreck. That is what the Shulim Tao design is. And of course, when you get into this, your breathing is not going to go down here, but stuck in the chest. This is human, okay? Uh, for breathing to come down to the lower abs so that you'll be able to handle the intra-abdominal pressure, this, this part cannot be whole like a wreck. And with this, and uh, with this, one will end up to be like this in the real world when you, uh, when you apply force or when you, when you fight. So you see, this part of the body is like a rack, is leaning. That is the reason why it, it becomes like that. Okay, so it's like a rack. The entire body is like a rack, like this. And uh, you have your arm is moving, but uh, this arm is moving and the entire thing is a rack. That's how it is. And then as in the chum cue, even though it turns, you see, you always put the weight on the back of the leg. Okay, either somebody argue from uh, on the heel or on the ball, how they spin, they always like that. And that end up in the real uh, situation, the application will be like, uh, you see this? Okay, so this is the back of the leg, which is your weight is always here. And uh, your, uh, this is the front leg. This is what it is. Okay. So when the uh, Wing Chuners today talk about internal power, mind power, all those, it, it is this. This is what they mean. Or what is in their mind. <clears throat> when they talk about talk and turning, it is the same thing with a rack type of body. Okay, the body is a rack type. It is a is a rack type, but turning. That is the cham Q. Turn or twerk or twist. That's what it is. So you end up to be like this. The 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 the, uh, the opponent get in, you turn to the side. That that is what. That's how uh, today's Wing Chun is. Okay? So, how is it, how is this mechanic, if we want to ask the questions, compare with the ancient Chinese mechanic, which is, which is compatible with this? which is a body mechanic, which is compatible with this. Now, let's look at that. You know, how is that type of the ancient Chinese uh, or the, the traditional Chinese martial art mechanics? Well, look at this. That is how. Pay attention to his knee, knee to his uh, inner thigh, external thigh, and inner thigh, external thigh, hip, and the core handling. You see, you pay attention how it changed in the in the uh, uh, the level up and down, how the thing spin. Just look at that. 
You see how it spin, how it go up and down and spin. So this is like a wave. And only with that, you see this, uh, if you look at this part, okay, and you look at this chest part, you can know that the breathing is down to the, the, the lower abs. Because it has that, uh, that, uh, that accord to the, your human uh, physiological needs of, uh, of uh, adjustment. While in over here, now everybody doing Xiu Lin Tao, you just holding this entire piece, okay? From the knee to your, to, to, to the uh, shoulder, one piece, make it one piece. And uh, over here, this from the knee to the, 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 the shoulder is one piece and leaning backward, you look at that. And then uh, this is turning with the leg. How is that compared with this? This is a momentum, the entire momentum going out and spiraling up in the three-dimensional way. This is just moving hand while standing. This is just moving in the, it, with the right, you turn in a two-dimensional, not three-dimensional like this. So look at it again. How will your body condition, your breathing condition compare with this? You know your mechanic is not going to make it. Your mechanic is going to break when people apply this three-dimensional type, three dimensional type of thing at it. And they need this three-dimension of the thing because it is based on this. You need all the, the hip, the inner thigh, the external thigh, the crotch area, the knee, the core, entire thing, like dynamic move in order to do all this thing. And yet, you lock in one position on this. And this is just turning. Okay, so, if you look at this type of a thing, just for taking in, attacking the, uh, the, 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 the center, the center line, attacking the center line, you look at this. You see how it twists three-dimensionally, the body twists three-dimensionally and then shoot into the middle, the center line. Okay? You see, you see how he manage his entire torso with his knee. This is a momentum play, as I mentioned here too. Is the entire body go in? Well, over here, you don't have a momentum play. You're just having a moving hand, uh, your arm. Over here, you just have turning your body. You don't have that wave type of stuff. And uh, you say go to the center line, sure. Like the other day, I said that it is a, a bi-directional handling. You take it back, twisting it back, it goes forward. Okay? There's multi-dimensional, bi-dimensional. Okay? So, so this is the real, the, the Chinese Kung Fu type of base of mechanics. Now, if you look at the, the, the close body flight like in, in BJJ, you look at that. You get close, it moves around. Okay? You see, at his body, it moves around. Now, so... 
If you look at that, this is an application of if people throw a punch, they still be able to get in. Okay, and you get in, and the entire, again, this is twisting, turning, twerking, three-dimensional, up and down. Notice that. See, from up, you're going down, and then you talk. It is not this. It is not this. And not this, like where you move out from your opponent, it is moving in. You see, you move in. Right? So, if it is Wing Chun, it becomes like that. Like you're using this type, of, uh, this, this type of mechanics. Where you turn these bodies like a rack. You end up like that. This is the back leg is your weight. This is the back leg is your weight. Okay, so this body turning. In like in the BJJ, for the entire body thing, it is like that. Okay, and if you look at that, it is going down. You see how, how it changed the, the, the body, how the inner thigh, outer thigh, the hip, the knee changing with the core. See how all this thing can change. So if you look at that, that is, is this type of free, a degree of freedom of change. The entire body changing. The degree of freedom in robotic sense, you know, robotic engineering sense, the degree of freedom. There are a lot of degree of freedom here. If you look at all the joints, Okay, you look at the order the joint, there is a lot of degree of freedom. You look at this, only your arm degree of freedom, your body is rigid there. You look at that, the same thing only here, you move, you, you turn in the uh, two-dimensional. This is like a, a rod, a rack, you don't have much degree of freedom. Thus, you cannot go the up and down and, uh, and uh, tilting and so forth because when you do this kind of stuff, you're not going straight, straight like that or lean like that. You see, always going forward, up and down and changing. You look at all this attack. It is, it is never, it is just standing straight like that. And, uh, and then when you meet force, strength, it becomes like that. And then uh, you do that, and then you turn like that. It never is like that. It is a lot of variety. So, like this, you see like this turn, like this, so-called structure. This is pushing each other. But for the, 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 the tri Chinese martial art, a comprehensive one, it never doing this, the body like a rack pushing each other. It's never. It's going to do this. It's going to do this. It's just going to wrap you in and, and crush you out. That is going to the center line. So if you have a body like that, you're facing somebody like that. You know, body mechanic wise, degree of freedom wise, you already lost. You, you just don't have the variations, the, 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 the change needed to handling that without single directions uh, crushed to each other. So this is called soft. This is cost soft. Okay, you just you you just you you just uh, you just absorb it, dodge, absorb it, and shoot him. This is called hot. This is called hot. Compete who have more power, who have more structure power. Over here, 
even though they have power, it's no compete. People don't like you compete. So the same with the jujitsu ju is ju. People don't want to compete. So you, they throw him a kick, uh, throw him a punch, you go in. There's no competition, dodge in and attack. Okay. So you can see all this body. Now, so if you get into the MMA, you look at this. The first part, the Wing Chun guy is using the same thing. But when the Xi Xiao Tong here start to attack with all this degree of freedom type of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of mechanics, body mechanics, well, the Wing Chun guy cannot take it, right? So up to here, it is Wing Chun. Up to here, it is the entire multi-directional degree of freedoms attack. Look at, look at it again. Okay. Okay, up to here is the Wing Chun. Okay, straight and all the structure and all the Cham Q power, everything. You want to call it turn power, whatever. But when the real thing, the real talking and everything come, it like this. That's what it is. Okay. Now, look at this. Look at how he get in. How he changing the position and attack. Look at it closely. Okay. How he go uh, in a different position. Look at it closely. You know what is that, that thing? It is this. It is how you play. This is you. How you locate, you, 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 you stick at him and you play. You stick at him and how you play. And this is a 360 degree. How you from the side here, how if you go to his back, how if you go to his front. Okay. So what is, uh, what is, uh, what is a Wing Chun version 2? Well, Wing Chun Go version 2 is going back to this. Going back to this. Going back to this. Going back to this. Going back to this forearm fighting. The leg arm, the body arm, and the two arm. So it actually is a comprehensive which is cover this type of thing cover this the version 2 cover this the version 2 cover this the version 2 cover this on what Xi Xiao Dong say. So you can look at what Xi Xiao Dong do here is version two. And what Ding Hao do here is version one. And you can see that version one cannot handle version two's mechanics. So hope that this clear out everything in details. If you don't have version two, Bring back the 1850s. That so-called Sulim Tao type of uh, uh, internal power, mind power, structure power, the Cham Q type of turn, it really cannot handle or face today's world. And it is not what I'm talking about. When I'm talking version 2, I share with you already. It's like the BJJ thing. It's like the the, the, the Chinese uh, uh, internal and so forth thing, the entire thing. 
the real Chinese martial art, Wing Chun 1850, is like that. It's not like what today you see here. It's not like what you see here today. Okay, you practice this way, you use it this way, you practice this way, you use it this way. And so all this legend where people say, well, you keep being practiced this set, you can get there. How can you practice a, a set like this? How can you practice a set like this? a set like this, develop a body like that. How do you practice a set like this? Apply like that, develop things like this in turning, talking, and taking down. Well, the answer is you cannot. Because mechanically, you are inferior. Yes, I know the term is really hurt. Somebody, some Wing Chuner might think is hurt. But that's what the, the, real, the reality is. So that's why I propose version 2. Because you just compare mechanics to mechanics, you already, you, you are not part. You cannot play. Your body is not conditioned that way. So this is what I'd like to share with you. This is the bottom line. This is the technical stuff. It got nothing to do with who is the number one, who, uh, which grandmaster have what secret sets. For past 100 years and for so many decades, it's always this grandmaster is better than that grandmaster, this secret set, that secret set. Now, Finally, you can see that when there is not even have a comprehensive a palm mechanics, how can you face the world? Are you, are you going to believe that those people who design the four sets uh, know uh, better than today's BJJs and, uh, and all those uh, Chinese martial arts? Of course not. How can they going to train somebody <coughs> to fight the, like the BJJ, the Jiu Jitsu, <clears throat> the real internal art, like I just shared with you, the entire body is waving stuff. You can. It is a reality. So I pre propose the version two. Brought back what is from General Chi Ji Kuang to Shaolin to, to the Red Boat, the anti Ching Wing Chun. Or else you don't have solution. And of course, everybody is free to choose what they like to choose. And thus, I say this, this video, this, uh, this channel, my channel is only an uh, educational and cultural channel. You can believe whatever you want, but this is a reality if you live in this world. So this is what I'd like to share with you. Hopefully, here on, people understand clearly what I mean by, I mean, version 2, the talk, the wave, this sticking body, okay? So again, now I want to share with you this. Isn't it BJJ is a four hand up to? Two hand, the body hand, and the leg hand. The two hand, the body hand, and leg hand. Isn't it BJJ like that? How can something like that where you have only two hand, just two hand, two hand, two hand, be able to face an art like BJJ? The answer is you can. That's why in the... Uh, In the in the Xi Xiao Tong's uh, 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 video, I just share with you. In this video, I just share with you.
The first part is the Wing Chun since 1870. It cannot do a thing. Because the body mechanic is, is not there to support the needs 